Okay, this is part one. Uh, we're going to show how to uh, disconnect the power cord, AC power cord, and uh, for this new charger in the 18 volt unit. First, we're going to remove the plate. Easily take your uh, flathead screwdriver, gently. Just be careful to pop those rivets out really nice and easy uh, so it doesn't break your plate. We've got these in here loose just to speed the process up. And of course your uh, charger is going to be here in front. You're going to go ahead and take either two or six, I mean two. four or six screws out. Uh, hopefully there's only two because there's wires behind the middle. And so these two here marked should be what you have and this should be the ones you use. Okay, let's go ahead and Now your charger is not going to look the same as this one. This is going to be a different one that we're sending you. So, okay, the four screws are removed. Now we're going to take the charger out. Now what's going to happen is the power cord, the AC power cord that comes out of here, up on top, is going to be a different size than the one you currently have. So you're going to need to take a 3 8 inch drill bit and you need to re-drill this hole a little bit once you've cut the power cord inside here. Not bigger. No, just 3 8 only. Uh, the power cord of course is down here. You're going to want to go ahead and clip that because you're not going to need it anymore. No. And no. go ahead and pull it out. Yeah, on the old charger. Yeah, from the old charger. And just get that completely out of here. And how it's connected is a P clamp. There's a P clamp inside here, guys, that uh, holds this. Uh, holds as you can this see cord. over here, it's it's holding that AC cord out. So you're gonna have to actually take that off, and that way it'll uh, go ahead and release that, so you can pull the cord the rest of the way out. The P cord's on the inside. You'll probably have to hold it as you screw unscrew this. Uh, then it'll actually loosen up, so that cord can be pulled completely out. Okay. Now you're going to get a new cord. Uh, spread the P-clamp. Yeah, and there's the P-clamp And P here's what we right mean there. by a P-clamp. That's it right there. You're going to see that on the inside, uh, just below where that cord comes down. And that's what you're going to have to use. You want to secure that really well. That way uh, it's not going to allow that cord to be pulled on your charger, of course. So uh, once that's cut, you're going to reroute and put a new cord up inside there. Uh, it's already going to be attached to your charger but it's going to have um, a, a smaller power end on it, similar to this, to clip that's going to have to be clipped off. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut that off um, and trim it back, that outer skin. This is run it, run your cord through the hole Right, run first. the cord through first so it comes out of here after you've drilled that 3 8 inch hole. Okay, so now all your cords to the outside. We were also going to send you this what you're seeing here, but it's going to come in this package right here. Okay, that's going to have to be attached to the end of your power cord now. And Randy's going to show you how to do that. So once your cord is clipped off, the other end is clipped off, you need to run it through the back end of this unit. This unit. Run it through the back end. Run it through. Okay, and here's how you're... You'll loosen your, these screws. And then loosen this, the screws up top and here. This, and this pulls out. And that pulls out of there. What you want to do is cut back the outer skin one and a half inches. So, so expose the, the green, expose white, the green and black white, wires. and black wires. Here's how the green, white, and black are supposed to be put together. You've got a brass screw in there. That's where you want that black wire to be connected. And you'll want to cut that back, what would you say, about a quarter of an inch? Or a little more. Maybe quarter a little inch or more, more to expose the wire out of that black and white and green. Crimpers. Okay. And you'll want to take and cut those with the crimpers. Then you'll go to your, uh, the white wire will go to the silver. And you'll want to go ahead and uh, tighten that down. And then your green wire, of course, is going to go to the green screw which you can see there so it's real simple uh, green white then brass for the black uh, your tools there's that 3 8 inch bit there's this wire stripper uh, that'll cut your cord that's basically all you need to do now this goes back this is sucked back in 
okay with the two on top and then the screw there on the bottom it forms like a triangle and you'll see the same triangle here on the face just match that up Once that's all matched up, tighten it down with those three screws and you are ready to go. But you want to make sure that on the back side of this that you don't have, you didn't trim that more than an inch and a half so you don't have exposed cord here. Exactly. Okay? So just make sure that there's still thick cord inside that unit. And what I would do is tighten these first. Get the glue back there. Hope this video didn't make you dizzy. I got it wobbling all over the place. Sometimes it's a little tricky to find those holes. Make sure it snaps in there nice and tight. So when you tighten those screws down, everything's secure. I didn't find it. Well, we can move on, actually. That's all you got to do.